tell me about the book you're writing or your favorite character from the book you're writing. Okay, so I'm working on a spicy fantasy series set in um, Sweden. Uh, it's rooted in Norse mythology and Scandinavian folklore. It's written in English. Um, I have three main characters. The first one and maybe the central character in some... Oh, she's the central character. Her name is Edda. Uh, she is a bit of an enigma to people around her. She does not believe that she belongs in the body she is in. She has memories of a different life and a different kind of existence that no one believes to be true. Um, so that causes a bit of, well, it causes a great deal of conflict in her family and between her and her friends. But she is also kind of the social glue that brings people together and around her they create a bit of a fantasy world within their world uh, where a group of misfits form a really great team of friends actually. Um, her best friend, the first friend she makes is uh, a boy who's uh, just a little bit older than she is and they become almost like siblings, best friends um, and then as they grow older there is love between them as well. It isn't a romance as such but there is romance in the series. Um, Horace is a very square peg and Edda is a very round hole and somehow they complete each other and understand each other and in other ways they don't. And then there is Edda's uh, other best friend, Angel, who is also very special. Um, they first met when they were 10 and on that very first day something happened. Something that made a 10 year old girl, Angel, swear a blood oath in a language she didn't even know she knew and promise to guard Edda with her life for the rest of her life. And between these three we are telling a story that actually spans over nearly a hundred years and um, it'll be sort of carried on by their children. Uh, and it's a story about the end of the world or at least the end of the world as we know it. And what happens when everything collapses and humanity needs to rebuild a different world um, that isn't quite as vulnerable as the one we had. And um, what happens if all the old races and gods and whatever that we once believed existed never disappeared, never died? That's the centre of my story. And now I'm checking what time it is to see if I have any time left.